Hello everyone, and welcome, I'm Kiv, your favorite degenerate, and today, well, it looks as, as if 343 has actually come out, and through a news article, it does kind of hint that the reason for the delays and the lack of communication is because of technical debt, or some kind of issues that they had to stabilize the foundation of the game for. I'll leave a link to the article in the description, but I was actually tagged in this from Twitter uh, with a bunch of other Halo YouTubers a couple of days ago, and I have to say, even though I wasn't in the first tweet where it kind of linked in Ubernick, Hidden Xperia, all of the big names for Halo, I was in that second tweet, but I was there just like, fuck yeah, we freaking made it, boys. <laughs> so yeah, that was really freaking sweet. <laughs> But to get into the news, let's start talking about 343 and the technical debt issues that they have been having since launch. In an article made by the Washington Post, they had a couple of interviews and also a bit of a behind the scenes look at everything going on with 343. It's kind of funny that we got this from the Washington Post and not 343 themselves. Uh, it would have been nicer to hear this from them because a couple of the comments, you can just kind of see that it does confirm a few things that we as a community were suspecting. I want to draw everyone's attention to these couple of lines by Tom French. He's the creative multiplayer director, so he's pretty much the person in charge of future content for the game. He's the creative director, the person in charge of making more stuff for the multiplayer. Uh, he said he's very, very aware of the complaints, and as someone who plays the game every night, he shares them. However, at the moment, his team is prioritizing lingering issues from a launch that required completely rebuilding the engine used in Halo 5 and expanding to onto PCs. He said that his team spent the entire year following the 2020 delay announcement strengthening the game's foundation, work that continues today. So the key word that I got from all of that was foundation because when it comes to technical debt, it's when the base of your game is duct taped together so that it can still work, but you haven't got anything that you can build off of and put more pressure on, otherwise it's just all gonna crumble apart. Because that's what they needed for launch. They needed the game to work for launch, and after all of the issues with COVID, that is something that they prioritized. But now, it comes to stabilizing it all and pretty much just making it so that they can keep building and adding stuff to the rest of the game. And I think that that's what they've been doing these past couple of months. This next clip I want to show you from Joe Staten does also hint at that, and then also about the communication that's involved. Because when it comes to technical debt, there's a lot of unknowns. Sometimes you might open up all that bit of code and some parts need to be redone that you're not aware of. So as you keep working on it, you start uncovering more issues that you need to fix. And so because of that, you can't really give a concrete timeline on when things are gonna be ready. You can't really say, oh, it'll be done by Friday because you just don't know. And I think that this clip really gives a good example of that. It's challenging to always be constantly open and transparent with fans because we don't want to expose them to the uncertainty and sometimes that, that churn that happens on any game development process. Shipping this game was hard. Like, COVID smacked us in the face in the middle of it all, and we want to make sure it's right. The decision we're making, though, and I believe this is the right one, even though it's hard some days, is to make sure that when we talk to our fans, that they can rely on what we say. Fans are really soon gonna be exposed to some really cool stuff that we've got going on for season two. It's taken a little bit longer to get the engine up to speed. Communication's flowing in the way that we want to, but the engine is cranking and I'm super excited about the next year and beyond. To finish off with, I just wanted to clarify one last thing. In that clip I just played, Joe Staten talks about the engine is revving and going, but what he means by this is the multiplayer experience and live service. He is also really keen to share some more details with us about Season 2 very soon. So I would say we're probably going to get a roadmap 
either this week or next week and we'll have some more concrete details on what is on the cards and what's going to be coming our way soon. So that's pretty much it for today. Let me know what you all think about this in the comments down below. Personally, I'm happy to finally have some proper news about all of this and have it out in the open uh, about technical debt, but I feel as if it would have been much better if they just made a blog post and came out and said, look guys, this is the truth and this is what we're uncertain about. That's what I would have liked, but let me know what you guys think down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, because we're about to hit that 1k mark. Oh boy, <laughs> oh man, this timing couldn't be any better, and I love it. So join me on this great journey, everyone, and I'll see you all on the next video.